Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I would like to give another example on regular false method. See the statement of the given problem. Apply regular false method to estimate a positive real root of the equation x cube minus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0. Clearly, this is an algebraic equation. We are going to find out a positive real root of this equation by using regular false method. Okay. First of all, let us represent the given equation with the f of x. Let f of x is equal to x cube minus 5x minus 7 is equal to 0. Take it equation number 1. First of all, we should find out the initial approximations of the required root of the given equation according to the intermediate value theorem. What is the intermediate value theorem? If functioning value at a is negative and functioning value at the point b is positive then one of the root of the equation f of x is equal to 0 should lies between a and b this is the statement of the initial approximations so we have to investigate the functioning values at various points okay first of all find out functioning value at 0 0 minus 0 minus 7 negative okay f of 1 find out f of 1 now it means that whenever we have x in the given equation, we should replace it by 1. So, you will get 1 minus 5 minus 7. It would be 1 minus 12 minus 11. It is also negative. So, find out another functioning value at another point. F of 2. Whenever we have x in this given equation, we should replace it by 2. 2 cube 8. 5 twos are 10 minus 7. Anyway, it is 8, 8 minus 17. It would be minus 9. Again, it is negative. Now find out f of 3. 3 cube which is 27 minus 5 3 is 15 minus 7. 27 minus 22 5 it is positive. So from these observations we conclude that required root lies between 2 and 3 initially. So it is better to find out f of 2.5. To complete the problem as early as possible I am finding functioning value at 2.5 also. So, whenever we have x, replace it by 2.5. 2.5 whole cube minus 5 times of 2.5 minus 7. I will find out this one by using scientific calculator. See. Two point five whole cube. Sorry. Two point five whole cube minus 5 times of 2.5 minus 7. You will get negative here. Minus 3.875. Minus 3.875. That's why. So, functioning value at 2.5 is negative. Functioning value at 3 is positive. So, from above observations, we conclude that We conclude that one of the root of given equation 1 should lies between a is equal to 2.5 and b is equal to 3. These are known as initial approximations for our required root. Once again I will write here functioning value at 2.5 which is minus 3.875 and uh, Functioning value at B, which is at 3, is 5. Okay. We will use these initial approximations in the regular false method. Now, we are going to find out the next better approximations by using regular false method. I will find out the next better approximations in a tabular form. So, serial number According to the regular false method, what is the formula to find out the success of approximations? The algorithm in this regular false method is xi is equal to a into f of b minus b into f of a whole by f of b minus f of a. By using this formula, we can get the success of approximations. Next, find out the functioning values at each success of approximation f of xi. Replace in this given equation x by xi. So, you will get xi whole cube minus 5 times of xi minus 7. 
next the last column is new interval we should identify the new interval to get the next better approximation serial number one first approximation is represented by x1 what is a value a is 2.5 into f of b f of b is 5 everything is on your paper you should replace the values carefully what is b value b is nothing but 3 3 times of f of a f of a is negative so minus of minus plus 3.875 whole by 5 minus of minus plus 3.875 i will find out this one by using calculator c Take this symbol 2.5 times of 5 plus 3 times of 3.875 close the bracket in the denominator we have to write 5 plus 3.875 I got 2.7183 you have to note down at least 4 decimal places now we have to find out f of x1 what is f of x1 f of 2.7183 so whenever we have this x i replace it by this one 2.7183 whole cube minus 5 times of 2.7183 minus 7 let's see 2.7183 whole cube minus 5 times of 2.7183 close the bracket minus 7. So I got negative minus 0 0.5055 which is negative. Since it is negative and previously we got the positive functioning value at the point 3 only. That's why the new interval becomes 2.7183 comma second endpoint would be 3 only. This is A and this is B. Now you should take this new approximation value as A and the second endpoint B is 3. Okay. Now calculate X2. Now what is the new value A? 2.7183 of 5 minus of minus plus. 3 times of because f of b is always 5 only and uh, second endpoint b is 3 only what is the new functioning value already i wrote negative of negative is positive here so you will get 0 0.5055 whole by 5 plus 0.5055 see Take this symbol 2.7183 of 5 plus 3 times of 0 0.05 sorry 0 0.5055 close the bracket and write in the denominator 5 plus 0 0.5055. I got 2.7441. We have to find out functioning value at this point. f of x2 is equal to directly I will find out c. 2. 2.7441 whole cube minus 5 times of 2.744. 1 close the bracket minus 7 again I got negative which is minus 0 0.0571 okay which is negative you can also take 0 minus 0 0.0572 because fifth decimal place is 9 that's why fourth decimal 1 can also written as 2 as you wish okay since it is negative the new interval becomes 2 point new value which is 2.7441 comma 3.
this is e and this is e now we have to find out next better approximation which is x3 okay what is a here new value 2.7441 of functioning value at 3 what is it 5 only okay f of b is always 5 minus b value is 3 minus this value so minus minus plus 0 0.0571 5 plus 0 0.0571 again we have to calculate in the calcium take this symbol 2.744 1 of 5 times plus 3 times of 0 0.0571 close the bracket and write in the denominator 5 plus 0 0.0 571 I got 2.7469 okay so calculate f of x3 which is 2.7469 whole cube minus 5 times of the 2.7469 minus 7 I got negative so minus 0 point since it has some value into 10 to the power of minus 3 this is called scientific notation of the given number so since it is 10 to the power of minus 3 this first digit should be third decimal place after the point so which is 0 0.0078 which is less than 0 so since it is negative new interval becomes 2.7469 and the second endpoint is always B. This is A. This is 3. Now we have to find out the next approximation C. The next better approximation is represented by X4 which is A into. What is A here? New value. 2.7469 of 5 minus of minus plus 3 into this is a negative value negative functioning value that's why i'm writing minus of minus plus directly 0 0.0078 by 5 plus 0 0.0078 i will find out this one using calcium so 2.7469 bracket open 5 minus of minus plus 3 times of 0 0.0078 close the bracket and in the denominator we have to write 5 plus 0 0.0078 I got 2.7472 so calculate functioning value at this point which is 2.7472 whole cube minus functioning structure is 5x that's why 5 into 2.7472 close the bracket minus 7 i got minus 0 0.0025 which is also negative that's why new interval becomes 2 point new value 2.7472 and uh, second end point should be 3 only because previously we got the functioning value at 3 only so at this new point functioning value is negative and uh, at the old point 3 functioning value is positive that's why now required root lies between this point and this point okay we have to find out the next approximation we have to continue this process until two successive approximations are same that's why the next approximation is represented by x5 here a is nothing but please see the previous new interval a value is 2.7472 recently we got x4 is 2.7472 that's why so replace a by 2.7472 and what is f of b f of b is 5 b value is 3 so minus of my 3 and previous functioning value is negative that's why i got negative of negative is positive 0 0.0025 by 
5 times 5 plus 0 0.0025 again I will calculate this one by using calculator see take this number 2.7472 of 5 plus 3 times of 0 0.0025 close the bracket 5 plus 0 0.0025 I got 2.7473 okay calculate functioning value at uh, x5 which is 2.7473 whole cube minus 5 times of 2.7473 minus 7 I got negative 0. 3 zeros 8 which is almost 0 that's why this is the required root anyway it is better to find out x6 also to get two success approximations are same okay so new interval is 2.7473 and the second end point could be 3 only so in my opinion this is almost the required root see so 2.7473 of 5 minus 3 times of the new functioning value which is negative that's why minus of minus plus 0 0.008 by 5 plus 0 0.008 see this one 2.7473 of 5 plus 3 times of 0 0.008 close the bracket in the denominator we have to write 5 plus 0 0.008 triple zero eight I got two point seven four seven three so we are observing that x5 is equal to x is continuously two success approximations are same hence I will take required root of the given equation required root of given equation is two point seven four seven three in the bracket approximately okay in this way we can easily find out the required root of the given equation using regular falsi method in table of form you can also find out the success of approximations one by one not in the table of form as you wish thank you very much in the next video i will give some more examples on regular falsi and newton option method thank you very much